Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to constantly rotate an object towards another object. In this case, I will use the player. It's pretty simple stuff. Let's go ahead, let's create a blueprint class, let's make sure it's a pawn, and we're going to call this, well, let's just call it turret rotate. Okay? And what we want this turret rotate to do is to essentially rotate towards the player. So let's go ahead, let's add in a cube, just like that. And then let's add in another cube. Okay. And the only reason I'm adding in this second cube is, let's see, just move it down here, move it here, and then I'll just kind of move it out here. So I'm just basically pointing this so that we can, um, you can kind of see, you know, where it's pointing at. That's really all that we're, we're willing to do here. Let's also add in an AI perception or um, AI perception like that. Let's compile it here. And let's go ahead, let's hop into, let's hop into this here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to use the uh, event tick. Then I'm going to use the AI perception. Okay, so let's set this up. And I kind of want to show you a couple things uh, first here. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to call this actor rotate. All right, and then we need to uh, we need to set the actor rotation. This is what we need to do. Okay, the target is going to be the self, but we need to add in a new rotation. Now we need to tell it to rotate to something. So we're going to cast to third person character. We're going to get player character. Then we need to basically tell it to rotate towards a specific area. So first things first, let's go ahead, let's get world location. Okay, and it's the mesh, which is the, well, it's the stuff that you see, basically the mesh. And we then need to go to find rotation, find the look at rotation. Okay, this little node here is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, and the reason I, I love it so much is that in order to get a location and to get something to point to, there's a lot of math involved in this making this work, and it's a pain if you've ever tried to code something from scratch. Let's hope. Let's hop into that here and hook that up, and we need to make the player the target. But what we need is uh, the cube. We also need to start at the cube, rotate it towards the target. Very simple stuff. And in order to do this, we need to go to get world location. Same thing. Drag that over here. And let's move that over. All right, let's compile and save it. Let's drag this out here. And what this should do is that this should just constantly look at you. Okay. And that looks pretty good. I think that looks quite nice. Um, let's move it up a bit here. Um, so here you can see it's kind of looking at my feet for some reason. And um, we could take a look at that uh, in a moment here. But nevertheless, um, if, uh, if we want to, um, if we want to use the AI perception, this event tick basically happens within the game loop. But if we want to um, add in the AI perception, it's fairly simple. Let's click on the AI perception. And then um, and it's not that one here. And you know what? It's not AI perception. It's pawn sensing. Okay, so let's add that pawn sensing there. Let's compile it here. Now, on that, let's do on C pawn. And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to just drag this over here. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's look at this here. And you can see that's looking, but it's a little bit jittery. Why is that? 
Well, let's hop into our pawn sensing here, and we need to change our scene interval down to 0 0.01. And this should essentially do the exact same thing. The only issue, though, uh, is if, for example, uh, when you click on it, you can see the, the actual perception here. So if I rotate the pawn away, it's not going to follow me, right? So if you want to use the every tick instead, uh, you can. But as soon as I enter in here, boom, you can see that, well, it's looking at my feet, which I don't like. So in order to get rid of that, we need to add in an offset. So we're just going to add a vector here, and we're going to switch up this node for this. And it's quite simple. I'm just going to add in maybe, let's say, 50. Let's go ahead. Let's add that in here. And yeah, well, not quite enough. It's still looking at my feet. We wanted to maybe look at my torso here. So maybe 150. Let's go ahead. Let's compile and save it and then run it again here and run around. And there we go. So now you can see it's kind of looking more at my head. And we're so close to there. Let's maybe add in 100 here. What's funny is when I was prototyping this, by the way, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. So sometimes you just have to add in an offset. Okay. And you can see that even if I jump, look at that. It's following me no matter what. Okay. And that is how you add in uh, a turret that will constantly look at you. All right. So that concludes this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every month. So if you like it, please um, subscribe. We want to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers, and then we can be the best e-learning company on the planet, right? And we release everything from game development tutorials to machine learning uh, tutorials and more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.